This is day two of the Elite show here in Indonesia. This convention center is outside of Jakarta and there's a lot of cool cars here. Mostly JDM, honestly, but um, there's quite a few European cars, but there's very little American cars. And honestly, these are some of the best ones here. And uh, we have the builder here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. <laughs> the only other Ford F1 yeah. that I've shot mm -hmm. is my buddy Scott Birdsall from Chuckles Garage. Yeah. That I've one has I don't even know how much horsepower, 2,000 horsepower, yes. whatever. That's a race car. Yeah, we met him at SEMA. Like, yeah. uh, I think it's 2019. But honestly, I think this is a lot prettier. But of course, well, that's the function, you know? This yes. is beautiful. This is, this this is, is on is, air. Yeah. The thing that really stands out for me with this build is that's mm -hmm. right-hand drive. Yes. And it's because it has to be right-hand drive to in be Indonesia. functional in yes. Indonesia. And the owner of this, actually drives this on the street. Yes, it's a daily driven, so like not just him, but his wife also. It's like any other car, uh -huh. so it's, it's not hard. It just, you just start it and then pop in, get in, go drive in, uh, in the car. Okay, there's just a lot to unpack here. Mm -hmm. How did you get the original chassis for this car? Uh, How did you get the truck here? The truck is originally, it's from here. But for this build, we have to customize from the ground up. So we build it from scratch. It's uh, literally, the chassis is custom made. All, we made it from here. Mm. And then this is on air suspension. Yes, this is from air suspension, yes. How long did it take for you to actually build this vehicle? This, it took us like almost three years to build uh, from nothing to like you can drive it. Before we started rolling, you were telling me a little bit about the wood that yeah. you use for the bed. This is really special. Yes. Where did you get this wood from? So this wood, we get it from here. Uh, Indonesian is really rare. We call it sonokaling. Uh, we get it from uh, Papua. It's far east from Indonesia. Uh, and it's, it's bordering Papua New Guinea or? Yes, yeah. bordering, yes. Got That's it. Right. And then, uh, so did you have to buy the whole tree? How did that work? Yes, we buy it's a one long big tree and then we have to cut it. And then it's, it's a long way. It's not like in the US you can just buy a piece of like this. In here I have to buy, it's like one big log and then we have to, we have to uh, cut it by ourselves. And then what is this wood usually used for? Uh, for the piano, for the most expensive uh, houses here in Indonesia because this is rare and expensive, hard to get, and then how to maintain is almost impossible. There's so many good details on this. I love the color. How did you guys come up with this color? Well, it's, in the first time, I want it to be like uh, a bronze, uh, a penny, a US, but we couldn't get it here. And then we come up with sort of kind of a little bit brown and then bronze. So it's a custom uh, color from Spiseka. Mm, and then this was built here, painted here yes. in Indonesia. Uh, how did you even find parts for it? Because to my understanding, it's very hard to get parts for mm. old cars here in, in Indonesia. We, honestly, we have to import it from the US. So it takes time because some of the part we have to like a back order takes um, a lot of money to get it here because this custom is expensive. Yeah, and then a lot of times it's harder to get older parts. Yes. Uh, it's actually easier for you to get new parts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something uh, like that, yes. So then how many of these vehicles are actually in Indonesia, do you know? Uh, not many, but for this uh, 48 Ford, I think it's for my knowledge, I think it's only a couple of them. Yes. In it's, the entire country? Uh, yes. Hmm. So you personally did the interior uh, on this? Yes. You actually did all of the leather work, everything? You cut uh, everything yourself? Yes. Amazing. All right, so tell me about this engine. Uh, the engine, we have to redesign it, re-engineer it inside because we cannot use the crate engines because it's kind of like overheat. 
it's not suit for this kind of weather. So this is our bit, me with my husband. Yeah, because in, in Indonesia, if you're stuck in traffic yes. and it's really hot, it's, it's getting very it's hot. very yeah. easy to yeah. overheat. But still, with this kind of build and every one of your builds, mm -hmm. you have to have air conditioning. Yes. Because it's almost impossible to drive yes. in a car yes. without, without air conditioning, air especially conditioning, in the yes. summertime. Yeah. Right now, it's in the middle of winter and it's already really hot. And as soon as we jump in a car, it's like... Oh my God, crank that AC. Let's take a look at the interior. This is, what did you have to do to change it to right-hand drive? This is the thing that's really the most interesting to me. So we have to change the, the column. Mm. The seating column is from left to right, and then goes underneath. The floorboard? Yeah, the floorboard, yes. Because this is the first ever right-hand drive one yes. that I've seen. Mm -hmm. How is this to even drive on the street? It's pretty good? Yes, pretty good. Can we, can we take a look yeah, at sure. it, raising and lowering? Yeah. I wish you were entered into the car show because your builds would win the best air suspension really? and also best <laughs> USDM and also maybe two other categories. <laughs> well, because it's really hard to build something like this, I never think that this would be qualified for that kind of Just stop it. Stop it right really? now. Really? Just stop. I'm Why you should have just entered? Why I, didn't you enter? Um, I don't know. I, it's kind of, you know, it's... You're so humble. I love it. Uh, I mean, really. All <laughs> it's right, a okay. lot to learn. A lot yeah. to learn. <laughs> the, so, and then the, these lights are from my buddy Ben at yes, Dapper, Dapper Lighting. Lighting yes. I have the same lights on my 240Z. All right, so let's talk about this truck. This is 60... Uh, 67. 67 Seven C10. Chevy C10. Yes. This is another one. First one I've ever seen right-hand drive. Did they ever come in right-hand drive anywhere? Yes, in... it's from Australia. Oh, but this one... Left. You had to convert. I have to convert it, yes. Oh, okay. Can we take a look at the engine bay? Yeah, sure. So, again, this one, ground-up build. Yes. This one... You, did you take it down to bare metal? Yes, sure. I have to sandblast it first, and then uh, ready to prep, and then we have to go through the, all the fitting and everything. It's take like almost uh, two and a half years to build this. Is this a pretty popular truck here in, in yes, Indonesia? Yes, and expensive. There's a lot of C10s? Yes. So then what are we looking at for It's a engine? big block 502. Oh, this has a lot of power yes. then. Yes. This is perfect for doing burnouts. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we're doing that. <laughs> yeah, of course yeah. you are. You can see the tire is not <laughs> yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's no more tire yeah. left. Yeah. So next time when we come to Indonesia, we have to check out your shop because I would love, uh, love to see some love, of the other yeah, builds. I would love to see. And then I would also love to see you doing a burnout in one of these cars. Oh, God, that's crazy. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. I don't like the attention, you know. Like. <laughs> well, let's take a look at this. So this is another thing where you actually had to convert it to right-hand drive. All of this stuff was on this side. Yes, right. And then what did you have to do? Did you fill this, did you weld the hole yes, here? Yes, you have to close it and then change it over there. And then move it to this yes. side. Yes, you can see the, we use the rack and pinion. The, the uh, steering is, has, it's different. We have to order it specially just for this truck. So, like, where did you get that? Does somebody make something like that? Or no, is that we, from we Australia? Order it, uh, no, from uh, US. We have to order it. It's custom order, just for us. Mm. It's, and, because it originally came with a steering box? Yes. Right, so yes. then, and it probably wouldn't work with this Yeah, setup. and then I, do, we, I don't personally, I don't like it when you get so many, you know, I don't know how if to If it's set. too much play. Yes, yeah. exactly. If it's That's, not precise enough. Yes. This but, is a lot safer, especially yes. driving in Indonesia. You know, because I'm a woman, it's, I like to drive it just like other car outside there. It's just, the look is classic, but all inside is different. I wanted to keep it simple, just simple. I love it. It is so cool. Big Wilwood brakes. We love running Wilwood brakes on our cars. And then um, both of these are running Curry rear yes, ends. Yes, Curry, yes. Yeah. What about the wood here? This what is you... called Jati. A lot cheaper than the Sonokaling, but still uh, expensive. This is usually for expensive houses. Okay, so then in terms of prices, 
Are you allowed to say a, a, about how much these uh, cost? In US dollar, it's kind of almost like 200,000. But it's depending what you put in it. It's like for that, it's 275. This one costs like 170. It's depending how you build the car. And part of it is because cars in general are just so expensive here yes. in, in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Everything is imported and everything, there's so much uh, yes. import tax to yeah. it. Yes. Even something like an A86, mm -hmm. something like this would be very, 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 very expensive. Very expensive, yes. Yeah. Okay. Because not many has the ability to build a car like this. In this level, you have to put your love in it. When you work something like this, if you don't love it, it just ruin everything. Well, you have a couple of other cars here. Let's yeah. go check those out. Uh, I just wanted to kind of see some of the cars that you have here at the show. <laughs> and it's exciting for me to see something different. Uh, part of it is because uh, there's... It's here we, we, in Indonesia. Yeah, it's in, here in Indonesia. And it's really interesting to me to see the cars that you... Different, yeah, right? You, that you build. So this one is really interesting. What uh, a beautiful build. This is a 57 Chevy. Uh, the engine is 350. The interior on this one is yeah, my so. favorite. The paint yeah. is beautiful, inside and out. Yeah. It's this so This is a charcoal pretty. gray, custom charcoal gray. 350 engine in it. So you paint this in-house? Yes. You have a paint booth? Uh, yes. Oh. It's, it, it is a very humble paint house. It, it's paint booth is not like expensive. We try to, to build what we have. We don't have an uh, expensive tool, something like no. So then how long have you been building hot rods? Like 10 years. It's, that's just very short to build a hot rod. I have to learn from many other builders in the US. Uh, I came to US a lot to learn. I asked so many questions. I came to their workshop. To yeah. Ask, yeah. So you go to the SEMA show also uh, yes, to check every out year, some yes. of the Yes, almost every year, yes. And then the interior, this one, again, you had to convert to right-hand drive. Yes. But the interior is just so nice. You know, it's really hard for this because, uh, for example, the leather, I have to wait for three months. The leather comes from the Italy. So almost 80% of this, uh, this bill or any other bills, I have to wait um, three to four months to start building it. So next time. And then price range wise, is this pretty similar to what you have over there uh, yes, on that but, side? But this one is a lot cheaper than that because the suspension. Most of the uh, money I goes to every bill is the money goes to suspension first mm. and the engine. And the rest of it, we have to like uh, put it on the interior, um, gauges and something like that. Mm. Amazing. It's very interesting to me because the traffic here yeah. looks very so crowded. different, yes. right? Well, it's crowded. It's a lot of motorcycles and yes. mopeds. Yes. And then there's a couple of cars here and there. But seeing something like this drive down yeah, or something like this. Head. Yeah, it's turning head. Yeah, it really head. is so badass. And this is your personal vehicle. Yes, this is my personal vehicle. Yes. So this is the, what started it all. Yes, it's... Um, Actually, uh, it started from uh, when I saw this car in Australia. It was at, uh, I think it's at a power cruise at Sydney. I was looking at the same car and I want that car. So I started looking at it in Indonesia and I found it in the barn. So I bought it. The owner won't sell it, but I'm begging because probably he sell it because I'm a woman. So I said, I wanted that car. You going to build it? Yes. Who's going to help you to build it? My husband. And I was crazy enough to, uh, to put 502 big block in it. And I drive it to the mall. <laughs> and I drive it whatever I want. It's not going to be overheated because my, help, uh, my husband helped it with the, the engine. So it's, you see, it's just like I can drive it with any Japanese car. It's, it's simple. Or I can drive it just like Mustang in the US. It's, it's the same. It's just the different only <laughs> left and right and then you convert it to right hand drive. Wait, so this is, um, is this an Australian market car? Yes, this is Australian. And then, so this already came right hand drive? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. This one also has a curry rear end. Yes, for us, 
here, curry is our favorite. The other thing, we use mozer also. But curry is, I want it to last long. How many hot rods have you built since you opened? Uh, that would be almost like 10, 12, probably. I 12 forgot. cars. Yeah. The last 10 That's years. That's something yes. else. Yeah, that is a lot of hard work. Yes. And th we're talking about full cars. Yes. All the way down to bare metal, yes. bare yes. chassis. Yes. Or bare frame. Yes. And then putting everything yes. together. Can we take a look at the engine bay on this? I can't believe you drive this to the mall. Yeah, yeah. And also... Honestly, the, the, yes. Honestly, the Indonesian yes. police don't care that there's a huge no, they uh, love it. stack on it. Really? Yeah. They love this car. Yes. Wow. So pretty. But still, Amazing. you know, we don't have that much money to build a beautiful car like in the U.S. Like, I have to like accept what I can build. But for me now in Indonesia, for this. This is a lot. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, one of the things, and I've been saying this pretty much in every one of the videos that we're shooting here in, in Indonesia, it's so much about the ingenuity and the hard work. Yes. And just kind of dealing with what you have. And there's a lot of um, interesting special ways to get a lot of these parts into the country mm -hmm. that uh, you have to take advantage of. Otherwise, there's no yes. way you can build a yes. complete vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. There's just no way. I, I wish you know, my 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 wishing is to have more tools you know every time i go to us like i'm drooling with tools like can i have more tool and my husband come on it's it's a lot of money so instead of buying bags expensive bags i'm buying tools and my my husband prefer you better buy bags because it's a lot cheaper than buying tools <laughs> But there's I need a, tools. I need more tools. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I love that. It's really nice to see your builds. I can't wait to go check out your shop. It, it's just really interesting to me. These car Thank culture you. stories. Thank you so much. Maybe but, next time I come, we can take a bunch of the hot rods out. Yeah, that for will our be. Cruise. Yeah, that will be lovely. But you know what? I cannot take the credit for myself. This is our build. Me, my husband, and my crew. They they all have a part of this. So without them this wouldn't be possible. So how many people actually work for you For total, guys? including me? Yeah. Eight. Eight? Yes. It's a tight crew. I, I want it to be uh, the one who work with me, have passion on it, not just the money. Right. I don't like people work on it just because the money. It's not going to work. They, they have to love the vehicles? Yes. They have to be enthusiasts? Yes. We, need, we need the money, but not like that. You have to, ha you put, you have to put your heart in it. Without passion, this build it would be possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen Kindig, I've seen I've seen Cheap Foods and many other build builder in the US. They put love in it. That would be the first thing that make it the hot rod is possible. Without patience, it's nothing. I think uh, I think that's a good one to end on. I hope you guys liked our Indonesian coverage. It's uh, been an amazing trip. See you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.